quick setup on in, uh, setting up OBS Studio. I assume you've already got it installed. This is Windows 10, should be similar for Mac and Linux. So I'll start up OBS Studio. So I erase my settings so that this is like the default configuration. So it's going to ask you if you want to auto config. We'll go yes. Um, I'm going to tell it optimized for recording, assuming you're going to be doing mostly recording and then uploading videos and not streaming. So we'll do this. And then I'll say yes. Um, that's fine. Your settings might be a little different depending on your configuration. I've got NVIDIA video card in this machine, so it's choosing the NV and C recorder. Not important. I'll apply those settings. Now I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to switch over to OBS Studio to record the rest of this. All right, so we are in an initial configuration of OBS Studio. I'm actually running a second instance of OBS over on the other screen so I can record this. So um, you'll want to go to your sources. We want to add your webcam, which is a video capture device. I'm going to call it uh, Logitech. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to choose my webcam. Now I can't see it right now because the other instance is actually using my webcam to record me. But I'm just going to go with the defaults. We're fine. Later I can show you some more details. And then what you want to do is a display capture. So I have a Samsung on the left screen. I have two monitors. Uh, the right is something else. It's a Lenovo, but I'm going to call it Samsung so I know which one it is. Get the weird funky effect going on here because we're viewing the preview of us viewing the screen that we're viewing. And that's okay. The only real detail here is you probably want to put your webcam on top of the display so it's going to show up nicely down here. I'm just going to drag the window over that I'm actually using to record right now so you can see the view. Uh, here's the webcam. I can actually resize it and do funky stuff here. I can crop it as well, but we don't want to get into details here. Now, if I stop recording, what I'm recording for you right now has been finished and I can use it to upload and share.